I'm pleased to say I'm joined by the former major semi-finalist Jeffrey Desvan. Thanks for the time, Jeffrey. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great, by the way. How are you? Doing good, thank you, and I uh, appreciate the time because I know it's been a, a busy 2023 so far for yourself, winning back your tour card at Q School, being back on the tour, but starting from scratch in the rankings again. How do you reflect on your year so far? Well, at the beginning, I was uh, I was playing well, you know. Uh, my shoulder is feeling, feeling really great at the moment. So, uh, yeah, you can also see that at average what I'm playing and, and, and the games, what, I, what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, even like, you know, uh, beating Gurren Prize at the UK Open. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really great. It's a busy, uh, busy schedule, but uh, it's also lovely to play again on the Pro Tour. Well, there's lots to get to. I had a look back. The last time we had you on the show was in the summer of 2018, so coming up for five years ago, and it was just after your run to the semi-finals of the World Match Play. What memories have stuck with you from that run? Oh, I had really great memories of the, uh, about the World Match Play in, in 2018, you know, yeah. First round beating Michael van Gerwen afterwards playing Adrian Lewis um, was also a tough tough game but uh, glad that I win that one yeah after that uh, Dave Chisnell also a great game for me and then yeah reaching the semi finals it was an amazing feeling and lucky for me that I lost against Gary Anderson also the the winner of that year but uh, yeah I had, a, I had really great experience on the on the world match play and that was like my breakthrough year. Probably because after 2019, I was number 20 of the world. Yeah, and looking back at that time, the end of 2018, you were back at Ali Pali for the first time in a few years and you actually played twice on the opening night. You opened the show against Nitin Kumar and then you had that 106 average against Rob Cross but finished up on the losing side. What was the experience like playing twice on the same night? Um, it was it was okay to be honest. Um, I played uh, against Nitin Kumar the first one, and you know you already had the feeling that you were on stage. And I, I don't know, I, I I probably liked it a bit because you know you got that feeling and uh, playing Rob Cross in, in in the evening. But yeah, I, I I really liked it. I had a really great game against Rob Cross as well on the six average. But yeah, lucky for me that I lost that one. Yeah, that, that that was for me the World Championships from that year. And moving on, you've had a, a taste of the Premier League since we've spoken as well, twice as a, a challenger or a contender. And that the first one of the of those 2019 in Rotterdam, how special was it to play in front of a, a big home crowd like that? Ah, uh, that was amazing, mate. That was really amazing. The the the, the thing was that in my home home crowd. 10,000, I think almost 10,000 people were shouting my name. Uh, that was an uh, unbelievable feeling that give me, still give me goosebumps when I'm, you know, thinking about it or just uh, seeing like uh, on YouTube and I'm seeing the, the people shouting for me. Uh, it still gives me goosebumps. Good times. Well, not long after that, you picked up your second senior title. You won another Players' Championship. You averaged 100 for the day. And, and by this point, you are well established in that top 32. What was it like being in that position after a, a few years on the tour? Um, you know, if you, if you reach like like the top 32 and, you know, getting to the, the top 16 of the Pro Tour of Merit, then, then you're um, accomplished, uh, well, achieved a, a big um, thing because you know you're qualified for like a couple of TV tournaments, you qualified for the European tours directly. So it was a little bit more relaxing than when you uh, starting from scratch. And yeah, that, that was a feeling for me that it was a little bit relaxing for me that I already achieved that. And if I can keep uh, myself in this position, yeah, that will be great. But yeah, luckily for me, uh, I got some shoulder problems for like two and a half years and yeah, really dropped down afterwards. And yeah, uh, but I'm glad that I'm, I'm back now in this year. Good to hear. Well, let's just touch on that next World Championship because, as I say, you're in the top 32. You go into it as a seed and you had that potential meeting with Raymond van Barneveld in what was at the time going to be his last World Championship, but he lost out to Darren Young in the first round. How disappointed were you to miss out on playing your mentor on the Ali Pali stage? Um, to be honest, I was I was a bit disappointed because I really wanted to play Raymond, you know, uh, because I, he was my mentor in, in the beginning of my career and how would it be, you know, playing Raymond in his last year on the World Championships, um, you know, playing him as yeah as, as a prodigy 
and maybe beat him. You know that 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 would be amazing. But uh, yeah, it was it was a little bit sad that that Bremen lost that one. But uh, I'm glad that that I uh, reached the last 16 that year as well. Yeah, and you got a bit of revenge for Raymond beating Darren Young in that game, and then you got past Dave Chisnell four three, and again another one hundred six average for you on on the big stage. And what is it like mm-hmm. to come through games like that, especially when they are so close and in the biggest tournament that there is? Uh, yeah, it, it gives you amazing feeling, mate, uh, that you can perform at at such a, a high level in that kind of tournament. You know, it's the World Championships. Everyone wants to perform over there because yeah you, you want to be the world champion maybe you won one, one the days or or even you know like the top players are already been a world champion they still want to be uh like if you're uh win it twice you want you still want to get the third one so yeah it's, it's, it's a great feeling that i can perform on on that that high level and yeah hopefully you know i want i'm one of one of these days i want to be the world champion as well Definitely. Well, that year was one of your, your best runs, getting to the last 16 and uh, a memorable game with Peter Wright. 3-0 down in sets, you bring it back to 3-0 and Peter just pips you 5-3 in that last set. What do you remember about that game? Um, yeah, it, it, it was a strange game for me, to be honest. But, you know, uh, getting 3-0 three, three down. And I think Peter Wright still need one leg to even win it 4-0. And, yeah, that I got the first set for myself, I was thinking, OK, you know, just keep on going, see see where it goes. And, you know, I'm starting to get the crowd in full, so I was a little bit playing with the crowd for now. Right, come on, guys, uh, just cheer me up a bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, I've, I've got back to 3-3. And I know the, um, the tie break, uh, I think he's... I think I missed one or two dots I'm not, I'm not that sure but yeah th- 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 that was the thing that I missed and yeah Peter Wright hit it and afterwards he had a great great leg so that's why I'm, I'm losing that one but yeah, it, it, it was um, a little bit strange game but it was also really fun to, to do well, we'll come on to more recent times in a moment, but as we mentioned, that was at the time Raymond's last World Championship, but since then he has come out of retirement. He's won his tour card back at q He's now back in the, the world's top 32, and as, as we know, you and Raymond, you go back a, a long time. You've both got the same manager, Ben de Kock, as well. What did you make of his comeback so far, and are you two practising much together at the moment? Yeah, we, we were practicing really a lot. Um, we we're practicing like almost every day, even if, you know when the shadow is also uh, capable to do that. But um, yeah, we, we're practicing a lot. I'm seeing things from Raymond what I never seen a Raymond uh, uh, could do that. Of what I'm thinking about Raymond, so he's he's playing phenomenal also in practice and uh, that is also what you see what he's accomplished this year what he you know uh, he qualified for almost every european tour event this year so so far and he's also doing really well on the tour so uh, yeah raymond is i think it's hard to say but i think raymond is in his top now what he's ever been Wow, that is a a very high level from what we've seen in the past. Well, let's get back to you then. And you you did touch on it about your struggles that you've had with injuries over the last few years with your shoulder. And I I read an interview you did recently with, I think it was the guys at Darts News, where you spoke about the treatment you've been having since the end of last year. Can you talk us through that? And how is the injury now? Yeah, the the, the, the thing is, when when it all all started, it was really struggling for me because I... You know, every dart that I'm throwing, I was in real pain. So th- that is the, the the one thing where I'm, where I'm really struggling with. And also uh, mental-wise, you know, you know that you're capable to play at a high level, but you, yeah, you can't reach it or you, I can't play like that what I'm get you, what I used to. So it was m- mentally-wise, it was also really tough for me. And yeah, I've been last year to an other uh, physiotherapist. And we started Triac like uh, six or eight weeks, and so he treated uh, treated my shoulder and everything. We uh, did some uh, exercises to um, get my shoulder like back in shape. And yeah, that is the thing what really works for me at the moment. Uh, I don't have pain anymore. Um, my shoulders, yeah, it's, it's getting better and better, and that is also what you see in the averages and in the games all that I played uh, in this year. Also, like the the UK Open against Girl Price, that was an amazing 
great feeling for myself that I'm um, seeing that that I still can play like that, you know, also on on the on the on the major tournaments and that I perform uh, like that. Yeah, that was an, also an amazing amazing feeling for myself, and yeah, that my shoulder is getting better and better. That's really lovely. Good to hear and let's get on to this year then and at the end of last year you finished outside the top 64 it was back to Q school but of course you've won your tour card at Q school twice before but this was the first time that you've been to Q school with there being the, the two stages and you went straight through to that second stage what did you make of the new format are you a fan of it um yeah but the, 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 the thing uh, you know the first year I've played to Cusco was in it was in the UK so everyone needs to go to the UK and you know we are playing all together for all the spots for the for the tour card holders and uh, the second time I went to the Q school was in Germany so it was already separately and that is was still like four day, four days playing and everyone is uh, in one uh, tournament so and the third time, like last uh, this year, what I played is it. It was difficult, you know, because you know that all the players who are in, who are in stage two, they're really good players, and you know you need to perform uh, at, at, at your greatest performance, and you know to reach to reach a good tour card. And the first two days were, were tough. I, I also like uh, what I think a little bit tough draw. But I'm glad that uh, that on, on day day three that everything comes together and then I played really well on the third, on the third day. Yeah, you go all the way on the third day, get your tour card back, and this is the the first time going to Q School since having all that success, the titles, the major runs, getting to the world's top twenty. What's it been like getting your card back, resetting back to to zero on the rankings, and, and starting again? Have you seen it as a, a fresh challenge for you? Uh, yeah, just, just a, a new start, a, fr- a fresh start. Also, a big relief that that, that I uh, got my tour card back as well. So uh, yeah, it's it's just a, a new start and just uh, starting fresh from scratch and you know building uh, building up again. And that is uh, what I want to do. And you're still very young in darts terms. You only turned 27 last month, but you've been playing darts I think since you were eight, so almost 20 years now. What are your proudest moments you've had in in darts so far? I've got a lot, man. Yeah. Um, I, you know, um, I've, I've achieved really a lot in my career, and I want to achieve loads more. So, uh, yeah, in, in the twenty years, what I'm playing now for darts, that's uh, the thing is, if I'm looking backwards to all those years, what I've already achieved and what I did, you know, I've, I already have an amazing career. So, and I want to make it more, more amazing. <laughs> Well, let's just get on to, to the last few weeks. And we, we touched on the, the win against Gerwin Price at the UK Open, the 105 average. You've beaten a, a few of the big names already on the tour since getting your card back. You've also been on the Euro Tour recently as well, getting a, a win in the first round there. But for you, what's it been like being back on the tour these last few months? Um, to be back on the tour, it, nothing nothing changed, to be honest. It's, it's the, the, the way you're feeling... That I'm starting uh, fresh is gives me um, a bit of relaxing. Is that from like when you're in your uh, second year or maybe your third year, you need to defend your first year. And now I'm starting from scratch, so I can build up. Just you know, getting on the uh, going up on the order of merit. So yeah, that is that is the most feeling what I got. And you're on the Euro Tour again this upcoming weekend out in Austria. And as we touched on before we started, you've just been playing the, the Pro Tours, the Euro Tour qualifiers. You've got a, a few days at home, then you're, you're back on the road again. But how much are you looking forward to this weekend, uh, another chance to get up on the stage? Oh, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. You know, I'm, the, the thing is, I'm really loving the Euro Tour because, you know, with the crowd and everything, it, it, it's uh, something special as as always and that's why i really love the euro to, to play the euro tour and um you know we're going to to austria and the most of the times that i'm qualifying is this the tournaments for austria so yeah i'm really looking forward to it and just lastly before we let you go after the the last few pro tours you have got yourself in a provisional spot for the world championship and i know there's a, a long way to go in the season yet but what is the main goal for you in this first year with a card again is the focus to get back to Ali Pali or, or what is the, the main goal you're looking at 
No, the, the main main thing what I'm thinking about is, is getting back to Ali Pali, definitely. That is uh, the, the tournament where I, what, what I want, want to uh, stand on in uh, this year. So, uh, yeah, that is the only thing where I'm thinking about. Well, Jeffrey, thanks very much for taking the time to join us. Wish you all the best for, for this weekend in Austria and on that goal on getting back to Ali Pali at the end of the year. Hopefully, yeah. Cheers. Thank you.